An agreement in principle, which would avert yet another U.S. government shutdown. But will the U.S. So, well, president veto that, the deal? Uh, am I happy at first glance? I just got to see it. The answer is no. I'm not. I'm not happy. On Monday night, Democrats and Republicans crafted an agreement giving Donald Trump just $1.3 billion for 88 kilometers of border fencing, not a wall. It's a small portion of the $5.7 billion Trump requested, and it's even less than what the Democrats agreed to give him last December before the impasse. For that reason, there's doubt whether he'll approve the deal. I strongly urge the president to sign this agreement. No one gets everything they want in these agreements. The president must sign it and not, not, not cause another shutdown. At a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, Trump told reporters he's still considering his next move. However, it's clear he hasn't given up on his signature campaign promise to build a wall along the southern border of the United States and Mexico. I consider everything. I'm considering everything. The White House has said repeatedly it believes the president has the legal authority to declare a national emergency to build the wall. That would allow Trump to access already approved funds. But Democrats say the emergency is manufactured and have promised to challenge such a move in the courts. Lawmakers have until Friday to get the agreement through both houses of Congress and signed by the president. But the that U.S. president is under constant barrier. pressure from prominent conservatives tonight, not we'll to sign the agreement. Any Republican that supports this garbage compromise, you will have to explain. If President Trump chooses to veto the legislation, some government agencies will begin shutting down and hundreds of thousands of government workers will once again be off the job for the second time this year. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, The White House.